Happy Wednesday, Crossville First. This is Drew Shelley here, just checking in with you here in the middle of the week. Uh, working on the sermon for Sunday, our scripture is Acts chapter 11, verses 1 through 18, and we see some conflict in the early church. It's going to be really interesting to talk about it in worship, but uh, in reading and studying about it, it's made me think a lot about conflict in general, and I've, I wondered how, how do you deal with conflict? Uh, I think my favorite solution is to avoid it, but that's not always the best solution. Uh, one of the most helpful things I've ever read or heard about conflict is to think of it as two or more people trying to discern the truth or what is the best course of action for the future from many different perspectives or from two or three or ten different perspectives. When we approach it like that, it becomes uh, a bit more productive, I think. And it's it's people seeking to find the right answer or the best answer for some given problem instead of just people arguing and hollering at each other, which is how it sometimes shows up. When you think about it, though, like folks seeking the best or the right answer from different perspectives, it really is helpful, especially when we add our our Christian faith to the mix and, and add prayer and discernment into it. We're seeking together to uh, to find what God wants us to do. And so, you know, conflict can be a good thing when we wrestle with issues and, and find ourselves seeking God together instead of separately. The other thing that I've read that's been helpful to me is to is to always think what life will be like on the other side of the conflict, uh, the next day, the next week, the next month on the other side of the confrontation or the conversation hopefully it will be better as as things are dealt with and processed and you can move through and beyond into a deeper relationship with the person or people you're having conflict with so uh, it often works that way in my experience not always but uh, but many times conflict brings us to a deeper relationship with the folks around us so anyway just interesting conversation for our wednesday morning here i wondered what do you think about conflict how do you deal with conflict if if you're on our facebook page just put some comments down there about uh, what you think about conflict and how you deal with it and if you're watching this through your email then uh, maybe just shoot me an email i'd love to hear from you and to learn from you and so then maybe we can all learn together about handling conflict in a way that honors our faith in Christ and that uh, is an expression of God's love and not an expression of us just trying to avoid hard conversations. So anyway, it's something to think about for the week. We had a great Sunday uh, last Sunday. It was just so wonderful and so full and rich. We had worship Sunday morning that was great. We had uh, we had at one o'clock a whole bunch of people over at Martin Elementary School playground spreading wood chips on their playground. The kindergarten teachers asked us to come and do this because they had some kids fall and get hurt on their playground. Their, their wood chips had kind of dissipated and, and it was no longer really a safe space. So we spread a dump truck load of wood chips in 22 minutes. We had a lot of great help and it was a great, beautiful afternoon to be together doing that. Then from two to four, we had a confirmation class here at the church that was just great. And then of course, we had the wonderful Bridge Block Party, the kickoff to our new Sunday evening ministry, The Bridge. That was at 5 o'clock, and it, it was great. We had a lot of folks from our community here. A lot of you were here, and the most wonderful things happened. We were together in conversation with our neighbors, with our brothers and sisters that we're just now getting to know and just now meeting. So thank you for that. Thank you for being a part of that. And uh, it was just great to feel the presence of God in so many different places and ways over the course of uh, Sunday morning, noon, and afternoon, and into the evening. So thank you for that. This coming Sunday, we continue our series, Living an Easter Faith in an Easter Bunny World. We are looking at that passage from Acts chapter 11, Pushing the Envelope, How Far is Too Far for the Followers of Jesus. So we'll have some good conversation there. We also will be receiving Dan and Teresa Bryant into our membership. There's some great folks that have come our way and been through the Getting Connected session and are ready to join with our family. And so Dan and Teresa, we look forward to that uh, Sunday at the close of worship. And after worship, we have our hospitality training for those of you involved in all kinds of hospitality and worship ministries on Sunday mornings. Uh, you've received a letter of invitation to that, I think, 
about half of you are able to attend we're going to go ahead and have it that half of you is still about 70 people so we're going to go ahead and do our training so we can make sure we're on the same page with our different expressions of hospitality that happen on Sunday morning so I'm looking forward to that and of course Sunday evening uh, is our first full experience of the bridge that starts at five o'clock and so be in prayer for that and uh, do remember to invite folks to come to worship or to the bridge it's just a it's just a time that we are seeking to follow God together and I want to tell you too Sunday morning uh, spread the word we're going to make a special announcement on Sunday morning you'll have to be here to find out what it is about but uh, I look forward to it and I'm excited about it so Looking forward to seeing some of you tonight at Wednesday Night Live, and then the rest of you we'll see on Sunday morning. Know that you're in my prayers, and uh, that it, it is just an absolute privilege to be one of your pastors. I thank God for you every day. You are an incredible people filled with the love of Jesus, and you live that love. So thank you. Thank you for showing me how to do that better. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.